The sound of an explosion and burnt tyres launched across a road. That was the scene in Stoke-on-Trent today where a parked HGV trailer was set alight in a suspected arson attack. Fire crews have been tackling the blaze near an industrial estate since this morning. Well, our reporter Emma Thomas is there for us now. So what happened earlier then, Emma? Well, around 11 a.m., emergency services received a call reporting the sound of an explosion. When firefighters arrived here, they realised that noise would have been the sound of tyres bursting, being sent 15 metres across the road here, as this trailer carrying bales of cardboard had been set alight. Police are treating this arson and say they're working with potential witnesses to identify the suspected perpetrators. Now, the fire service have told me that they're relieved that this situation didn't escalate much further. The trailer is parked very close to the industrial estate here in the Michelin tyre factory there and fire crews tell me it could have been much worse. There's a gas main that runs along the side of the trailer and the building is in close proximity to the trailer as well so the first responding crews got water onto that and protected that building from the fire spreading so the crews did a really really important job in the early stages of this incident. It ain't fun for our fire crews and it certainly isn't fun to light deliberate fires. Emma do we know how the trailers came to be parked there? Well, I should say that this road, this industrial estate, is around a mile as the crow flies from junction 15 of the M6. Obviously, a motorway that hauliers use frequently. I have contacted the haulage company that appears to be responsible for the six trailers that were parked here earlier today. Now, they were parked on double yellow lines. I've spoken to Stoke-on-Trent City Council, who tells me there's something of a grey area here regarding the law in the fact that typically, in order to find a vehicle to be parked on double yellows, it has to have an engine. It has to be a motor vehicle. And yet, these trailers had their cabs and engines removed. However, Stoke-on-Trent City Council there could say they're continuing to investigate, so is Staffordshire Fire and Rescue Service and Staffordshire Police. They're trying to find out how these trailers came to be parked here on Double Yellows and why it was that one of them was set alight, causing such a scene and what's now currently about eight hours into a clean-up operation. Emma, thanks for that.